Well, I bought this live wire power conditioner, power conditioning distribution system. Uh, I can't do it. Probably can't see it. Off a of stupid deal of the day, musiciansfriend.com. It feels really, really beefy. I got around a hundred bucks. Um, you can see 118 volts in my house. There's the on switch. I guess this receptacle is always hot. Uh, but the ones in the back are only switched when the power's on. And it's got these pop-out lights. So, you know, they're trying to rip off a, a Furman. Before I install this, I'm going to take it apart and see what's inside of it. I figured you might want to see what's going on. So, let's go kill the juice. My theory... Well, a lot of people just say these things are fancy power strips and that i don't know how true that is if you we're going to see what components are inside but like getting a one rack space case made out of metal that's probably going to be i don't know 60 bucks at least and by the time you get you know one good single receptacles receptacle is like three dollars and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. So thirty-three bucks in a sixty-dollar case. You're already at a hundred dollars. So if there's any components in it, I guess it is just a real well-built power strip. But let's take this apart. I got me a little jar. square it up what's inside of here yep not much so I'm gonna google eight and see what these uh, components are and um, looks like there's a, a little LED driver board here probably a little voltmeter in there with some sort of op amp here uh, I don't know we'll see I'm gonna go like I said google eight what these components are be right back I should have known, I should have known. When I try to find the online data sheets for the part numbers on these components, I can't find anything. Uh, they're Japanese, com or not Japanese, sorry. Sorry, Japan. They're Chinese components. <laughs> I would guess, I don't know. No, well, yeah. I'm not gonna go there. This is a choke or an inductor. Uh, it's there to get rid of high frequency noise. These are capacitors on either side of it. And then on either side of those are MOVs, metal oxide varistors. Uh, these are essentially uh, huge resistors or open circuits for voltages, you know, anything under uh, maybe 200 volts, but maybe 240. I don't know. I couldn't find the data sheet. But if the voltage gets high, like if a spike comes across, these will turn it into a dead short and try to short hot to ground. Um, hopefully you'll blow a fuse if that happens and that spike won't get through. Uh, let's see what the spec sheet says here. 144,000 amps. Oh, I'm afraid to tell you if this thing sees that much current, it'll melt. It'll just, it'll just disappear <laughs> in a cloud of smoke. Um, maximum voltage, 6,000 volts. Yeah, I doubt it. The real number you want to think about is this uh, surge energy joule rating. 2160 joules. A joule is one watt per second, okay? So if we had 2160 watts divided by 6,000 volts, okay, that's only 0 0.360 amps. So for one second, this thing can protect against 0.36 amps, right? But a voltage spike is going to be much faster. So if you go a thousandth of a second, if I multiply this by a thousand, could, could it protect 360 amps? I don't think so, dude. I think you're still going to weld something. So, yep, this is a fancy surge protector. All it is is a fancy surge protector, like a power strip. But it is in a nice case. It does have lights and a good power switch. Um, I guess, you know, you could probably go buy a $30 power strip that will give you the same prote uh, protection, but it won't be in a nice box and it won't have convenient plugs in the back. So is this worth the money 
for sure. Uh, the case, it's $60 if you buy it on Amazon, at least. Uh, the receptacles, you can probably get 10 for 30 bucks. I bet, I bet you can get them cheaper than that. I'll try to, to post some ads if I find, find any, but yeah, this is a good deal. However, if you, anyone thinks these things are going to protect against the lightning strike, no way, dude, <laughs> everything's going up in smoke. Um, I work at, uh, you know, power plants in manufacturing facilities that have uninterruptible power supplies that protect the sensitive computer equipment. You're talking thousands of dollars there, right? There's battery backup, huge transformers, huge banks of filters. These things are the size of a refrigerator. Um, and that's the only way you'll ever save it, if anything. Would this help you on the road, you know, on uh, for normal house power? You know, at a bar or club? Yeah, probably, you know. You'd rather smoke this than a nice amp or a nice rack. Uh, so for 100 bucks, yeah, I think it's worth it. Um, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.